Man, I just saw that uh, this the stream froze for whatever reason, man. Sorry about that, guys. Man, I'm just reading your guys' comments, and it's crazy. I see a lot of you guys either know people from Texas or are from Texas. Uh, I'm glad to see that everybody from Texas is starting to do... <laughs> Uh, it's just I, I, I can't even I can't even uh, fathom what you guys went through, man. So uh, praise out to you guys. Yeah, in the Dallas area, Isaiah Seward said that Outcast is chilling. Sorry, you have to deal with that. Uh, been hearing some horror stories. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, I forgot, man. You know, the, all the power is out, and you have the kids. Zoomed out. Oh, that's good. At least you got to zoom out of there. Sorry, guys. I'm just reading the last comments from the stream. I'm just waiting for some people to jump on. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, Outcast said, I, well, I pray that uh, things get better for y'all soon. Yeah, it froze. Damn. <laughs> Someone's going to get sued, I know. All right, guys. Well, um, are we good? Um, speed infusion? Let me know. Sorry, man. I, I didn't even know that you guys were frozen. I mean, the thing's hardwired, so I don't know what else to do. Um, I don't see the internet being the issue, though, so I don't know. What, we got to go back to the drawing board on the computer because maybe we're streaming from too many outlets now. Get a new house. I, man, I didn't even think about that, bro. <laughs> man, let me just pull the money out of my back pocket to get a new house, bro. Let's do it. Nah, we get, but I, it's got to be something, man. Maybe it's because we're streaming, uh, we're multi-streaming. I bet you that's what it is, that we're streaming to too many networks, you know? But yeah, let me wait for a couple of minutes and just uh, have some people jump back on. Um, how far did you guys get Speed Infusion before um, the whole thing where it froze? Because I, I put the second one on. And then I was just showing you guys points on how I, oops, just showing you guys points on how I uh, lay the second one down to make it look like the first one there. Michael Adams, what's good, man? How you living? Real quick, guys, I'm sorry about the, uh, the cutoff. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it keeps cutting off, but uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to the homie Isaiah Stewart. Uh, Isaiah, thank you so much, man, for donating. Uh, I just dropped in 25 bucks. Uh, to get us a new mic, but man, I might have to get new internet or something because I, I want to make sure that the streams are consistent and it's just really, I think, uh, a momentum breaker for a lot of us when it just kind of stops working and freezing. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there, guys. I, I do apologize, but um, I'm ready to just start covering these guys up. So as you guys start jumping on to the stream, uh, let me just start covering up the actual shoes because... Today I'm going to use an airbrush. You don't have to use an airbrush. You can hand paint it. Uh, I just prefer using an airbrush because I just have one color. You can load it real quick. The only downside really to it is you've got to cover up all the spots that you don't want paint to get on. So it's not, it's not terrible, but whenever you're painting black, you will really want to make sure you're covering up anything that's super bright like this yellow color. Um, just to get the bright colors back once black hits it, it's a real pain. So I'm going to go ahead and get in as close as I can to the stencil without touching it and really lock in that stencil. I don't want there to be any leaks. And the best way to prevent that is just to really get in and cut any angles off that any paint can seep into. See, that's why I'm really persistent with you guys when I say keep all of the stencil locked in. Keep things around it locked in as well, you know? So, Webs, what's up, man? How you doing? Shout out, Webs. Patreon family, what's good? All right, y'all. So, that's kind of locked in. I'm not done with this. We're going to jump onto the other one because I got to do both anyways. So, let's go ahead and put this one up. Again, this was not like my first run with the, the stencils. I cut out several 
stencils here to get the right size. Uh, and then Fred finally settled for about a 0.9. He liked that size. So uh, we're going with that size. I mean, it's it was the client's request to be a little bit larger than I think that it should be. Uh, but, you know, I like the fact that he's doing it with the Wu-Tang logo because the Wu lo logo looks dope anyways. So here we go again, just locking in, locking in. I could have definitely made bigger pieces right there instead of being cheap about it there we go press that all in Webs, let me know when you drop that stuff on the Discord, bro. And for those of you uh, who haven't joined our Discord, we got a Discord going uh, for anybody who's in a custom. So please join us. Um, Speed Infusion, do you mind dropping the link when you get a chance, man? Appreciate that. You don't have to use this blue tape. I just like to use the blue on lighter colors just because it's not as sticky you know so after we're done we can peel this off and it won't leave any hopefully no residue there you guys know so um shout out armani armani luna what's good how you living so yeah that's uh this is b the basic tape job like this should be at least this section should be all covered if you're gonna airbrush now for me i just take it a, a further step what I like to do is just grab like a napkin or something that really covers the essentially the rest of the shoe and then I'll tape that down as well so you guys see how I put that napkin down it got a good chunk of the actual shoe and then what I'll do is lock the whole thing up lock it up B it's like I don't want anything to be exposed except for what we're going to be working on today so there we go that's what a, a nice tape job looks like when you're when you're going to airbrush again you don't have to airbrush if you if you want to hand paint it it's not difficult to hand paint so you could jump on this easy with a micro brush. Let me show you guys some brushes here that I use. Just in case y'all are wondering. What would I use? What would I use? You want to use a smaller brush, you know, nothing too big. Like this would be too large. You want to find something that's more of a detailed brush. Hmm. And of course, I don't have one sitting right here, of course. Yeah, maybe this one right here, the 10-0, 10-0 Petite. It's very small, it's thin. So if you want to hand paint, that's not a problem either. I would still use maybe a little bit thicker of a brush just because you can it cover very well. So um, let's get this guy prepped real quick. Um, I don't like to sp uh, put too much preparer or acetone on yellow. The reason why is uh, sometimes the yellow will fade and so, you know, even though we're preparing this to paint, I'm just going to try to be very minimal with adding this preparing to glazer. I'm not adding a bunch of it, just in the spots that it needs to be. And I definitely don't want to try to hit the actual vinyl with it because sometimes if you leave too much acetone on the vinyl it'll melt this is like a watered down version of acetone so I've seen this melt before on me bef doing the same thing trying to prep something like that so you just want to make sure that so you can see the yellow even came off that shows you how powerful that even was 
So you really want to try to avoid using any kind of acetone or deglazer on yellow. At least that's from my experience. It's a nice bright color and you can mess it up real quick. All right, let's lay this bad boy down. And we're gonna lock this one in too. See, when I lock it in, I try to lock in the majority of the shoe. Something like that, where you're getting the good portion of the whole shoe. And then you also, because I've done this before, when you're spraying in this corner here, you're kind of at an angle. Don't forget, you can hit the back ends of it as well. So let's prep the back real quick. Shouldn't take more than a minute anyways. And uh, trust me, like it'll save you a lot of time. <laughs> If you if you hit that back end, it'll save you a lot of time to just have protected it right now. That's the biggest bummer when you're done doing a piece and then you look on the other side and something got affected and you don't you didn't even see it until right then. So let's just protect it. Even the sock liner. It's yellow. Sock liners are super pain to get back to their original colors, so really make sure that's all locked in. Dope, we're good to go. Everything here seems locked in. Even this little bottom sole. Make sure you show that love. And now I think we're good. All this tape, napkins, and hoop lodges for these two little W's. <laughs> oh man, is it is it still freezing? Oh man, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm so sorry. Can you guys let me know? Is it still freezing right now? I might have to switch my internet. I don't know. Get a new computer. I, I'm not really sure what the problem is, and so I got to figure that out, guys. Mr. Scientifical, what's good? Isaiah, can you see me? Can you hear me? Huh. Okay, you can hear me. Oh, man, that sucks. How about... Okay, Superman is good for you. Hey, Isaiah, do you think that you can jump on uh, YouTube.com slash feelgoodthreads? If you don't mind, uh, maybe you might be able to log in there. We're live there as well. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Sorry about that, dude. Infinite, what's good, man? You can hear everything okay? I appreciate it. Cool. Guys, if you guys are having problems, we're, we're streaming live on twitch.tv slash feelgoodthreads, youtube.com slash feelgoodthreads, and Facebook, y'all. So if you're having an issue, I'm sorry if I didn't, didn't address it right away. Obviously, I'm trying to teach too, you know? But um, this is where, what we're looking like. We've now got these bad boys already prepped. And uh, let's let's take a look at the actual uh, original um, Wu Tang. I think they're embroidered, I believe. Hmm. Let me see here. Okay, cool, Mr. Scientifico. I appreciate it. Infinite said everything's good, so I'm assuming everybody else is good, right? All right, so. I'm just trying to take a look at what the actual dunk look like. It was embroidered. It was embroidered. Reggie, thank you for liking the stream, big homie. Appreciate that. All right, so I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm not going to get exactly like uh, the 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 actual Wu Tang. So let's just jump into getting some black in here. Cool. Feels good. Let me move this mouse out of the way. And, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter if I use flat black, regular black. Let's just try to use some flat black, and we'll start with that. Webs, are you still on, bro? Quan, are you there? All right, so I just got a little bit of black here. It's a flat black. I'm going to just pour. I don't need to pour a ton. We're not we're not we're not making a whole shoe here. We're just doing a couple of logos. So save paint. 
let's go ahead and cap this because when you're clumsy like me you knock that over at night time or your three-year-old steals it and then runs away with it when it's half open and then that happens so let me just clean that up that's no point though cool all right and one more there cool all right well i guess i want to use this as my test napkin now this is how we test to make sure the airbrush works right i can see it right cool nice clean even stream so i'm going to go ahead and just lay out a first coat here i'm going to lay it down in a little bit better of an angle for you guys to see so give me a sec let me just grab i know i have this little tray where's that liquid kicks tray at here we go oh, speaking of i gotta call jeff back man all right jeff if you're watching this dude i'm so sorry i'll call you back all right a little bit better right gives us a little bit of a more of a bird's eye look there all right and now the nice thing is I'm doing both of them the same color. But I really want to make sure when I'm doing this, guys, I'm laying it down real soft. All right? That's just a miss. And I'm doing it from the top down. I don't want to do an angle. I want it to hit directly on that W. Again, if you see any spots that look like they might be coming up, lock them up. But when you do it this way, you have less risk in any kind of bleeding underneath the, the tape. underneath the stencil sorry if I'm blocking your view guys I'm trying to see I'm just going back and forth and as I do it just trying to achieve like an evenness I'm trying to get the whole thing to be at about the same layer length Now let's give it a little bit of time to breathe. Cool? All right, cool. Webs, what's good, man? Now I was just going to ask you, have you worked with yellow and black kicks? You've got quite a bit of experience with yellow and black. What's your take on when you get black overspray or, you know, black paint on yellow? Any 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 easy way to come back for you on that? Cuz I just I hate trying to go back in and try to color match yellow I don't know why and I also know you use that um, what was it by liquid kicks the that's how long it's been since I used it bro it was no, this is the gloss finish inner coat I forgot to use this <laughs> and I have it right here oh well next time but yeah, I know he and he uses liquid kicks inner coat. It's supposed to be like an invisible barrier and you can lay that down first and then lay the black on top of it. And if you happen to mess up, you can still take that layer off without messing up the other layers underneath that. So it's it's uh it's kinda like an invisible barrier to help you guys out with the stencils. So there you go. Yeah, use acetone. Oh, so you you do use acetone? Does the acetone ever like strip the pain or make it more duller have you had that experience before maybe i'm just freaked out about yellow man i don't know I've, every time i've had a yellow shoe i've had some kind of small issue here or there when i use airbrush guys i'm i'm not consistently pulling the trigger back by the way i'm doing just doing back and forth spritzes and what that does is it'll shoot a little bit of paint, then it'll shoot some air, then some paint. So it's like almost immediately drying 
your paint as, as it gets onto the layer of the shoe. What's nice about that is you want the, the layers to dry quickly and to dry like clean and fast. That way it won't bleed underneath. I'm really trying to get just to the W, but I can tell that I got to also do the outer parts of it. Otherwise, it's not going to be even. So when I do that, I just really want to make sure everything is nice and locked in. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and let that marinate for a minute. Okay, so yeah, you use that Q-tip. Alright, cool, man. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I, I've used a Q-tip as well. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. <laughs> um, so I just heard a sound. I think that was a like. If it was a like, I appreciate it. I don't see anything on the mini feed. So I think that's what I'm supposed to be checking. Right, Speed Infusion? Every time there's a a beep, bop, boop, boop. <laughs> All kinds of stuff going on in the mini feed, man. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay up. All right, y'all. So um, let's see. I think we got maybe just one more layer to go, and then we can uncover it. I am a little nervous that I, I could see that I knocked this one out here, and I didn't do this one. Oh, I hope that didn't slip by me. Maybe it did. And if it did, then maybe we're going to be using a Q-tip. <laughs> like you said, Quan. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. Yellow is it's it's a pain, man. It doesn't it does you can't cover stuff with it. So if you see like a black mark, you can't just cover it. You have to paint it like yellow. Uh, you have to paint it like a white or something lighter, and then you have to paint it with yellow and overcoat it. So it can be a, a little bit of a pain. All right, y'all. So I think we're good, man. I'm not gonna see. I'm not gonna overkill it and say like, "Yo, I need another layer. I need another layer," because that's when, you know, you you start risking that that uh, doesn't doesn't have the same cleanliness and finish when it's done because you got like some overspray right at that last layer. And so I like to just kind of let it do its thing, let it cure, let it let it marinate for a minute. And then let's see what the final black looks like. If it looks good to me, yo, let's just let's just seal it up and call it a day, you know. So um, while while this is drying, let me look for some LK um, matte or factory. I think that'll probably be the best way to finish off the custom. This is a flat black already. Now, if I wanted to add gloss to it, I can do that too. So if you if you decided, ah oh, man, I really wish. I went with the regular black. I like that glossy look, but you did a flat black instead. You can still reverse the step if you use a gloss finish. So just letting you guys know, this is from LK Shoes. Um, if you use the code FEELGOOD, that's my discount. You'll, I think you'll get like 10 or 15% off. Um, and I think it's LKShoes.com, I believe. Uh, I should really know. I'm sorry. Let me see if it tells me. Um... LKTopCoats.com. There we go. So if you guys want uh, anything that's scratch resistant, that has different finishes, this stuff is great, man. So let me get the mat. I think this is mat here. Sick. Cool. I'm actually finding things today. That's a that's a plus, man. I just found out that I left this top open too. That's not good. Well, that's interesting. It didn't. It's still wet. Cool. Nah, Superman lover, you know what you did there? I just read your question about the foam posits. Is that foam posits, man, that material, it's like a um, plastic-like material that just can't really be painted, man. I've seen a lot of people try to paint foam posits. And some people have been pretty successful, but I have never seen them consistently wearing them, you know. I think they're going to eventually crack. 
they're kind of like the Jordan 11 to me. Like, I don't like to do Jordan 11s anymore because there's just too many ifs, you know? Like, you know, if you bend this way and then there's a potential for the sealer to crack or get mini cracks. And I just, I'd rather just not deal with shoes that have that potential where people are going to call you and say, hey, man. Oh, by the way, I just put the LK code in here. Um, you know, my, my shoes are all cracked and I need you to fix them. Because that just leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. So I'd rather just work on shoes that I know for a fact will be good. You know, won't have any issues. Paint them, seal them up. It's the same reason why I don't paint Jordan 1 soles. You know, there's no, like, I couldn't paint these soles, you know, these these uh, dunk soles either. Because they're rubber. And uh, rubber just doesn't have that you know that ability to grasp paint so same thing with the foam posits it doesn't have an ability to grasp paint it's like just you're basically painting right on the top layer and it doesn't go into the actual material and so that's why you're um, sorry this is a crazy long drawn out explanation superman lover but that's why I never I've never painted a, a foam posit because I already know the risks behind it. So now I just come to the realization there's some shoes you just don't paint because they're just too much of a hassle to do them. For example, doing Yeezys, 350s, all of that knit fabric, if you're doing any kind of detailing, they are super, super difficult to do. Now you guys could see here we're uncovering. Yeah, no, for sure. Superman lover, like, they look great when you're all done with them. The, 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 I bet the paint looked great. You love the sheen on them. They looked brand new, like dead stock. But it's just the, when people put their weight and pressure and keep bending that, that area, that's what ends up happening. It can't sustain that, that strength there, unfortunately. But, you know, I might be wrong, man. Maybe there's, Somebody else who has some, you know, some way. And y'all see how slowly I peel off. Got one down. Let's just knock the other one out. But yeah, if you have questions, man, I'm here for you, bro. Anybody else have questions? You know, we're, we're live, man. We don't have to talk about these dunks. Y'all can talk about whatever you want. If you got a project you're working on. If you need advice, by the way, I always check your hands before you start doing all this. There's been times where I've had paint on my hands, and you know when you're undoing all this and you got a yellow liner, that's no good, man. So you guys see I use a lot of tape and a lot of napkins. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put them on all to the side and then we can reuse them for another project like for example uh, Fred just gave me some fire red fours and he wants to do the spike Lee's on them so I mean this is this is good tape still you know there's no reason for me to just pick this all up and throw it away I'm just right now I'm just piling it all on top of each other just like how it came on the roll and that's how you can save a little bit on materials Just really, really carefully peel this guy off. Bang, bang. Let's get it. Oh, man. Sigh of relief. Another one bites the dust. Looks pretty even, huh? Oh man, thank God that that's done right. I Again, I hate touching up any yellow, especially if there's just like a little drizzle of black that's now gotten on the yellow and you're like, dang dude, I know the Wu-Tang logo doesn't look like that. I gotta take that little drizzle of black off. It's a pain in the butt 
if you rush the process. I'd rather you guys take your time and do it right and make them look clean. There's no like mistakes. Symmetrically they look good. The other thing, again, I don't know if you guys caught this on the feed or not, but um, you know we, we froze a couple of times. But when I put this down here, again, I looked at this corner here, hit this little white target here. This corner here hit like right here on the, 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 the stitches. So when I put the second one down, I'm looking to get my second one to look exactly like this first one should also have a little bit hidden right here it should be hitting the two this corner should be hitting the two stitches right here and they should look exactly alike so you, when you shoot them you're confident that you don't have to redo them because one of them is off that's the biggest thing that you guys can mess up on is placement in the beginning if you mess up the placement and you do them perfect it won't matter because then you still have to adjust the one that you messed up or both of them if you messed up on both all right sorry guys i know this was a long drawn out in intricate kind of a custom for something real simple but i do know that we have a lot of beginners that join us a lot so uh welcome if you guys are here for the first time um let me see some of the comments here you know I, uh, mr scientific i don't have anything against uh angelus acrylic finisher but um, ever since I started using the LK shoes, it's scratch resistant too. So like if you, for example, have a razor blade and are scratching, this stuff will protect this this logo. You know what I mean? So I like that. I like the fact that it, it provides more durability to the actual custom that I paint. So, you know, I'm all about uh, durability and quality. It should come out just like it came out from Nike, you know, so... Um, because of it being the way it is, scratch resistant, it has different sheens if I need a gloss, if I need a, a mat, they have all that, you know. And it's just a good company overall. A lot of artists are, are using it. Uh, Superman Lover said, Woo! Looks clean. I was a Wu-Tang head back in the day, got it tattooed on my arm. Man, I think my first album was Jizza. Was it Jizza? Yeah. Well, no. I guess the 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 first album was the Chambers, right? Then Jizza, and then it was um, Raekwon and Ghostface Killer. Only built for Cuban links. Um, who else did I have? And then I had the Ghostface album with the the Tommy Matola. You had that one. I know the voice sounded great there. Yeah. Um, just uh, several. Several Wu-Tang albums that I've listened to, man. So I was really happy to do this set right here. Um, Jojo Amon said, why not use airbrush? Um, did you mean to use airbrush for this custom? Because I just did. Uh, so if you could if you could just clarify, bro, I'm sorry if I, I took that the wrong way. But yeah, I did airbrush that. I did airbrush the uh, uh, LK Shoes protector on there as well. And now that I know it's solid to go, man, I'm just going to let it rest and do its uh, thing, you know, just let it cure. I don't have to do anything anymore. It's done, you know. Um, again, if you can get the stencil locked in right the first time, it'll save you a ton of time trying to clean up any, like, little spills or messes. You know what I mean? So, anyways, guys, time is 928 uh, do you guys have any questions? Uh, I'll give you all a couple of minutes. Let me know if you guys have any questions. doesn't need to be about the stencils that we just did. Uh, but I will be jumping back on very shortly. Uh, I did take a little bit of a vacation. Uh, much needed vacation, man. I needed that. Uh, if you guys would like to donate to the stream, that's much appreciated. Um, two people that I needed to shout out. Uh, one of them was Isaiah Stewart. Thank you so much, Isaiah. I appreciate you, Dougie. Uh, and the other person was Sneaky Ricky Customs, Mr. Rico. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate you, man. Both of you guys, uh, much love. You guys uh, are getting us closer to our goal to get a new microphone. And I promise you all, I promise you all, man, I'm going to figure out what's going on with the stream because um, it's just annoying to have a stream that just keeps cutting off in the middle of it. And, um, you know, I know how frustrating that can be. So uh, my apologies for that, guys. Uh, we'll 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 figure out a solution to it very soon, 
And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I've got another minute or so. Otherwise, I'm going to go have some dinner. It's 9.30 p.m. out here. Beautiful day in L.A. today, y'all. Man, it was gorgeous. Up. All right, y'all. I think that we are set then. I don't see any questions. If you guys have any questions and for whatever reason um, you guys just uh, didn't remember it, whatever it was, just, you know, hit me up. Hit me up on, uh, uh, on, uh, what? we just had something show up. Sorry. What's oh, that's a good question. What stencil program do I use? I use the uh, what is this Cameo Silhouette? Is it? Let me see, guys. Uh, yeah, Cameo Silhouette. I think it's the two. Uh, it's an older stencil maker, but it does a job. Uh, I can't really see like the new ones doing crazy much more work. But I did just pick up a, a Cricut Maker as well, so that's just for other projects. Um, you have a Cricut Air Two. Um, didn't know if there are any other program I can run on that. Hmm. I don't know, man. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a good, uh, question. I'm, I'm new to cricket. So we, we, we can try to find out together, Superman. Um, have you tried cutting stencils on that before? Let me know if you have or have not, you know, that's, we got to fit. We can, if not, we can, I'm sure we could figure something out. Uh, I'm not I'm not very familiar with the Cricut products yet, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, of course, Armani. Uh, people have been asking me, uh, you know, because the, the, the recon tutorial is almost done. We have one last part. And uh, we're going to be finishing that part this week. Uh, Roof Hopper is finishing it up. So the whole, it's, the reconstruction videos is about six videos. And then, you know, people have questions along the way. And I try my best to help every dude, everybody, man, uh, from questions like uh, what kind of thread are you using? What size thread are you using? Yo, I'm having an issue with the bobbin not stitching right. All kinds of different questions that I get. And, you know, I can't promise you, like, because I'm not a sewing expert. I'm still learning myself. But I'll definitely give you guidance. Um, also, once you uh, get into the Patreon family, um, man, I didn't even mention the Patreon family. Um, Patreon guys, man, I, I try my best to give you guys the the most support. And I think that it's, uh, you know, but it's hard to get images offline because it's a oh, block on most pics. That's crazy, dude. That sucks. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I do try my best to help you guys out with recon stuff. Um, the other day, Carl's Customs, he's one of the Patreon guys, asked, you know, what size... Um, what what ounce of leather do you use? You know, those kind of things are important because if you get leather that's too thin, then it's going to tear on your shoes and then you're screwed. Or if you get it too thick, then it's, you know, you got to skive it. And there's so many different things that come into recon as well, Armani. But yeah, I think this is a good uh, introductory. Uh, I, I would just say try it for a month, you know, and see how you like the videos. I try to be very technical with them. And... Um, you know, I do that because that way you can really get a breakdown of how to work the machine and, and how to sew. All right. Hopefully that answers your question, man. Yeah, of course, man. I'm, you know, I'm not going to try to sell you on it. Uh, there's a lot of Patreon guys here, you know, and this is this is why I'm here is because the Patreon people keep coming here as well. So, you know, it's nice to just converse with the, the people who support you. And, um, you know, you, all, you guys are all good folks, man. Really, I'm really happy to sit sit with you guys and, and we can do art together, uh, especially with what's been going on over the last couple of years, man. Like, in, never in a million years would I have guessed what the heck, you know, we'd be wearing masks and we have to stay indoors and all that stuff. I would have never, ever guessed, you know, been around for, I'm, I'm prehistoric, man. But, yeah, so, anyways, guys, any other questions before I let you guys go, let me know. Oh, Webs, you did some foam posits, man. <laughs> Superman lover. I know both both of you guys are Patreon family, man. Y'all should uh, y'all should exchange. Oh, you you just did, right? Uh, I think Webs Custom Kicks is Webs Custom Kicks. 
And then Superman Lover, what is your IG, bro? If you don't mind uh, just letting us know. And then um, Webs, if you don't mind just helping him with anything you know about phone posits, man. You know, that's what, what this, this culture is here, is just everybody helping one another. I really appreciate you Patreon guys too, man, for helping out. I know a lot of you guys give your input during these these streams, and that, that really helps us out, you know? All right, cool, man. Donate for the cause, man. I'll, I'll put the link up one more time, y'all, if you guys uh, are feeling like that, that steamy check's about to hit, and y'all want to hit me up quickly. No worries, I got y'all. Again, I'm any any of the uh, proceeds we use are just to just put back into the stream, anyways. You know, I really want this to be where like I can get nice equipment, like nice mics, you know, even better lighting, better camera angles. Heck, maybe we can even get Roof Hopper to come and shoot. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I've I've got I've got big aspirations for this, but you know, we just got I just got to be consistent in coming on and. I just hope that I'm teaching you guys things that are valuable as well. Really, that's what it boils down to, you know? You guys have to see a value in what I'm teaching you. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Superman, Lover, Webs, Custom Cakes, Patreon family. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, all of my social media is up here. Twitch is at Feel Good Threads. Instagram is at Feel Good Threads. <laughs> Uh, Twitter is at Feel Good Threads. What else did I not say? Facebook is at Feel Good Threads. Patreon.com slash Feel Good Threads. YouTube.com slash Feel Good Threads. And I think that's it, man. Uh, who knows, man? At this point, I'm so tired. I need a coffee and something to grub on. So I'm out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys.